Hey guys, Shark Recycling FPV. And uh, I'm going to do a real quick video here. Uh, I had some people asking me about the uh, LED wiring. So let me just go ahead and show you what we're going to do on the uh, F7 board from HGLRC. All right, so this is the 30 by 30 uh, F722 board from HGLRC. And there's some confusion here as to, um, you know, how you, can, how you can wire this up so that you can control the color. So I'm going to show you step by step on this one. I've already got it plugged in. Uh, and uh, now I've got it wired because I'm not going to use an ESC right now to power this up, right? So uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you the computer uh, and I'm going to show you, here we go. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to assume that you're going to go do a firmware update. So I'm going to click my firmware updates. <clears throat> and then I'm going to find my 722 here, which is the HGLRC F722. I'm going to take the most recent date. I'm going to download, load the firmware, and then I'm going to click flash firmware. Now, don't have your LiPo plugged in during any of this, okay? Because it's got to restart itself. And when, it, when, it's, when I've got the LiPo in, I don't get it to really restart properly. So here it's erasing. Let me just keep cleaning up here. All right, we're going to let it flash real quick. Now, if while we're doing that, I'm going to show you something here on the... Um, well, I'll let it flash first, and then I'll show you. That way we stay in order. I'm also going to be using this board to do a demonstration on how to hook up the new Wi-Fi module from HLRC, so you'll have another video coming back. So we're going to use this board for quite a few demos from this point out. All right, so it's done. It's restarted. I'm going to go ahead and connect. We should get a load defaults uh, prompt, so let's connect. Uh, we want to apply custom defaults. Click OK. And then I think we're going to get an accelerometer calibration request once we sign back in now. So we'll see real quick, see if that happens. All right, it's back. We're going to click connect. All right, so we want to, accelerometer is not uh, calibrated, that's fine, so we'll close. I'm just gonna quickly calibrate, I mean, I don't really care. I'm just gonna click this now so we can get past that error. All right, so we've got all our defaults loaded, all our ports are loaded, I mean, it really doesn't matter. What, what does matter is that we're gonna go to our configuration tab here, okay, and we're gonna scroll down till we get to LED, and we're gonna turn on LED strip, and we're gonna click save and reboot, okay? Wait for it to come back. All right, now we're gonna connect again. Now we're gonna to go to our LED strip. Now, the one thing I do wanna show you before we get too far into this is how the board is connected. I did it two different ways here. I cut the wires on one end and soldered uh, the uh, ground and the positive. Let me kind of cover this up. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, soldered the ground and the positive uh, to the board on the five volts. Okay, so let me, let me get my glasses on here and I'll explain it a little bit easier. If I can find the glasses. I don't know where they are, but you can't see. I'm gonna see if I can find the pair real quick. Yep, yeah, there. Okay, so on the board, as a matter of fact, I have a second board here that's not soldered yet, so I'm gonna reference that one when I'm talking to you guys. It'll make it a little bit easier. Uh, well, I did have it. Okay, so on this board, here's, here's the second. So these are identical, right? This is this is a non used version, and this is the one that we're using for demo, but they're identical boards. This way I don't have to stare at the LED. It's a little harder for me to see that. So if you turn the board this way, and you have your two switches, your two buttons here, right? Um, on this side of the board, I have soldered this LED to the ground and five volt on the first pads here, and I've soldered the yellow wires to the LED pad right here, okay? So yellow wires to the LED pad. So here's orientation of a board that hasn't been uh, used. I started using it and decided to stop. So if you look at the board with the two buttons on this side on the top to your right, the arrow is pointing forward and your USB is directly underneath. You have an LED pad right here. That's where you're gonna connect your signal wire or your yellow wire. Uh, and then I use on this LED, I use the five volt in the ground. On this LED, I actually plugged it in to the LED slot underneath, which is this one right here. And you have four of them plugged into this one right here. The point, the purpose was to show that you can either get your ground and five volts from these or you can get it from the pads itself the main thing is remove the yellow wire here because this wire has to be soldered to the led and if you're going to do all four <coughs> then what i did is i just basically made one wire come off the led and i linked them all uh soldered them all together here all right so we understand that again five volt and ground doesn't matter but the yellow wire must go to the led pad okay now that you see that we're going to go back to beta flight here and what we're going to do next is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually, I'm going to go ahead and power up my 
board at this moment. Okay, and I'm gonna come over to my LED strip and I'm gonna click wire ordering mode. Make sure to click that. And I've got four LEDs, so I'm gonna highlight four squares and they're gonna number them one through three. And I'm gonna tell it I wanna do a color and I'm gonna say, go ahead and do the Larson scanner, which is that scrolling uh, color. Uh, and I'm gonna pick red, okay? And I'm gonna click save. And all of a sudden, we see that we have it, okay? And there you go. That's it, it's that simple. Here's where it gets tricky though. Uh, once I click save and I close out of this and I can disconnect, I'm gonna power off my flight controller. So LEDs are power off, okay? I'm going to connect, go back to LED, all my items are saved. But if I clear all wire, or the wire milk or wire is save, okay, and I disconnect and I reconnect, I have nothing here. So if I go through the step again and click wiring mode, one through four, and I go to color, Larson scanner again just for fun, that and I get off of wiring mode and click save, okay? When I disconnect and reconnect, nothing's there. So make sure you follow the right procedure. And you don't have to have your LiPo on for this, okay? So you click wiring mode, highlight, your color, highlight the, the number of LEDs that you have. So I have four lights, so I'm highlighting four. I'm gonna go, to, go down here to color. I'll make it a Larson scanner, I'll make it blink now. I'll make it blue just to show it's different. Now I click save. Do not get out of wiring mode until you click save, okay? Now when I disconnect and connect, my savings are there. When I turn this on, we should have blinking blue lights. I don't know, if you, yeah, and we do. You guys can see that, right? Okay, guys, that's it. That's how simple it is to do this, to where you can program it. That is using the defaults. That is erasing everything on there. So all the CLI, all the, all the, um, uh, all the CLI settings, nothing's been changed. Okay, that's how you do it. Hopefully that helps you guys. If you have any questions, as always, please let me know. You can go to our Facebook page, uh, cyclonefv.com, for, Facebook forward slash cyclonefv.com. And then please, as always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here below. I always appreciate your support that way. Thanks, guys. God bless. Be safe. And uh, remember, go spend time with your family, guys. You never know how much time you have left. Make the most of it. You can always fly later. Talk to you soon. Peace.